peace and blessings your royal highness welcome back to royal giants youtube channel today we're taking some of the dogs to the park we have a couple dogs that will be leaving and are being placed with family so we're going to be brushing up on some obedience training that ain't no problem huh? hope you guys enjoy stay tuned <laughs> So all we're doing is just pretty much going on a walk with them. Sit down, stay. Phoenix is kind of rusty, so we'll see how she goes. But Amina is good. And then I'm glad you brought the sleeve because Black can just do like a little bite. But I'm, I'm really you. glad to hear that uh, Titus and Knox are doing pretty good. Yeah, I was super happy about that because... Yeah, like he was like, they're, they're being great. Like so far so good. I'm like, cool. That's what I'm talking about! He said like they fired up at the door and tried to just like pretend in mm -hmm. the yard with them. Mm -hmm. And they fired up for him and Titus turned off for him too. I was like, good. That's why he's the goat! The goat! <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. I can't wait for the next one. We got a couple more clients that have dogs that um, are waiting, so we just kind of got to put that together when the timing is right. We want to produce dogs and see them again. Like, that's like the really cool part, especially like on a training tip. Mm -hmm. Not like, no, like, okay, come and run and play in the dog park. Like, I want to like work the dog. Like, yeah. it's cool. Very cool. Sensational. 20 minutes. <laughs> What you cussing for? <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. I saw it coming, honestly. Oh, I this camera. <laughs> 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 the season is And now back to your regularly scheduled program. This one here is Amina, and this one here is Phoenix. Amina is one of our dogs that is going to be placed in a home as well as, Fe as Phoenix. So we're going to work on some obedience with these girls. I think we need to move on. Okay. <clears throat> and this is Black. He's just going to help out uh, and uh, hump Phoenix, I guess. All right. Is this nigga serious? Hey, bro. Come on now, dog. Phoenix All right, says, man. Um, that's enough. <laughs> you need to leave. Oh. So we're gonna go that way mm -hmm. and just, yeah, heel, sit, okay. down, stay. Like pat your leg for direction. Sit with a correction. Down with a correction. As a correction. But everything on the prong collar, she's she's good with. Sit. Good. Sit. Sit. You good. You. Good. Leave Sit. it. You good. You. Sit. Good. Um. So right now, we're going through basically the basics. And working in Sit. an uncontrolled environment. Down. We're in a park. Down. So there's other people, Down. there's other dogs, Down. birds, there's ducks, Down. there's cars. Um, and this is basically a realistic setting for a dog to Down. demonstrate that they know what's expected of them. Because um, it's totally different obedience. Like a lot of people will say, oh yeah, you know, my dog listens really well Down. in the house and they sit Down. And Down. and stay and do all of that but when you actually take them outside the home that's really the test of where they girl. respond down the girl down to what you need them to do um so it makes like a really big difference what I'm talking about. down good good job Heel. it's really hard for dogs sometimes to Heel. concentrate and good. focus when there are other dogs around. So it is a good thing to have them work together. Yeah. Um, good girl. It basically reveals like any weaknesses they have <clears throat> because if they're yeah. distracted sit. by another good dog, girl. Good sit. you're able yeah. to identify, okay, yeah. this is a weakness. We got to work on that. Um, so it just allows us to further evaluate where the dog is at, regardless of whatever yeah. obedience we've done at good. the property or in a home controlled environment, 
and it just allows us to really make sure that the dog is 100% proofed. Um, there's so many environments that people take their dogs into Good. and Good we have to ensure that the dog Good. is properly acclimated and comfortable to perform in that setting, whether it's obedience or protection. Yes, right now, we're just working on obedience. These are two really young females that we're working with and then Black's just kind of like here for the ride. It's actually really crazy because Phoenix is like one and Black, you're like four and a half. Like, why is she so big compared to you? Uh, who the fuck you think you talking to? Black, you're just little and that's just what it is. You're a little guy. Little guy with, um, I don't know what to say about it, with big. Oh, pause. Yeah, I don't want to sound weird on that one. Let Bruh. me reverse. I'm actually quite impressed with Phoenix because she's kind of just been sitting, just living her life. And uh, did you work with Phoenix as a puppy? I think, maybe, yeah, there's so many. I hope so. Okay. <laughs> if she growls, correct her. I don't know if she will or not. What did you say, nigga? But she should be fine. Yeah, this is gonna be a good one. It's him blasting Chris Brown for me. <laughs> listen, listen. I, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I mean, listen. I'm sorry. Another thing with the, with the dogs is while you're actually on a walk, is making sure that the dog's walking with you and the dog's not walking you. Write that down, write that down! Because what you see a lot of times with people is that the dog is literally walking them. <laughs> So that's something that we're looking for too, is to make sure that the dog is walking with us. What happens is when there are multiple dogs is one of the dogs is going to be the leader and another one might want to compete with that leader status and start pulling. And they're kind of like walking and competing with each other who's walking ahead. So we wanna make sure that the dogs aren't concerned about that. They have to be concerned with the handler. So like even, Handler here has one dog, I've got two. They have to be equal and they have to just focus on me. This dog has to focus on her handler and just make sure that nothing else matters but the pace that the human is walking. So there are a lot of things that we do work on during the course of the obedience process, during the course of the protection process. Um, this I would say is the easiest part, fun. <laughs> like. Mm -hmm very easy it's a nice walk yeah but there are a lot of things that we evaluate in this part to make sure that we work on if there are any weaknesses god damn it i like the way you do business but the dogs are doing good mm -hmm. it's been kind of a minute since we've done a park walk so pleased with everybody's performance phoenix is a little bit curious about everything but she's doing okay i mean it's doing really well mm -hmm. she's just stuff everywhere. Yeah. The Chris Brown moment was a lot for her. That was, yeah. Way. Oh, them niggas getting in over there. I don't even like Chris Brown. Yeah. So was a lot I was like, okay, do we start like dancing or like- 106 in park type. Mm, oh. <laughs> okay, let's go for a sit. Sit. Down. down. Good girl. Good. Good. Good down. Good job. Phoenix. Phoenix. Good girl. Sit. Good. Black. Right. Down. Good. Get off of her. Nigga! Good. Stay. Good. Stay. That's it. Sit. Down. Back up. Back. Back Good. up. Sit. Good girl. Down. Good. Stay. Good. Black Down. heel. Stay. Switch. Down. Good. Stay. Bridge. Good girl. Good. <clears throat> How do you do that? How do you do that? Get off of her. That's it. I'm like, I'm leaving here with something. <laughs> Good. Stay. <laughs> Good. Oh, you're funny. You know what I mean? I'm from around the way. I'm leaving with something. Um, what you can do, I'm going to leave him there. Just walk past. Stay. Man, <laughs> she didn't got serious, man. Leave it. How? Hold on, bro. How? Oh, 
Ow! I'm so tempted to make Black go run in the water. Oh <laughs> my God! Tempted. Peel. He comes back? That's yeah, he'll come back. That's tight. It's so fun watching them swim. We need a lake. You don't have a wet dog in your car. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah no, no, never mind. Appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad yeah, I'm glad you. <laughs> that shit there? God, I laugh when I go to Atlanta and see some people, poor things. They like this. Bruh. Yeah. Like and they don't even have a big job. Come on, man. Yeah, this wasn't too shabby. But Phoenix, you keep like running into my calf. I don't know how I feel about that. The more you fuck around, the more you're gonna find out. Okay, so like here's a tester, cause she ain't really been around like other dogs of ours. So she like, dude, hold up. Hey yo, what the fuck? Come on. But the goal is for the dog girl. not to respond Good to girl. another dog. Come on. And to just leave it alone. Cause the last thing you want is for your dog to be fixated on another dog. So that was revealed that it's something that she needs to work on and that's okay. That's exactly what these walks are for and these public experiences are. So this, basically, this was really successful for her. So Thank basically gonna contact the owner and say, hey, we're ready. And schedule her pickup so she can go to her family. Yes, yes sir, sir. She been spayed, she been groomed and uh, she's ready to go. Black, would you like to go potty? Go ahead and go potty. Two seconds later. Oh, of course, back to Phoenix's backside. Come on. <laughs> man. <laughs> A nigga like me, man. I love the game. Lynn was handling Amina, and really it was kind of an assessment to see how she would do with a new handler that she hasn't dealt with before, which kind of represents like the new family, new owner. And she did well, she did fantastic for her. So that's basically proofing that she is fine to hand over to someone who does not know her. Mm -hmm. um, she was responsive, she was friendly, she was accepting. So she, that was really good, like two thumbs up for takeaway. Um, yeah, nothing fancy. I guess just grab Creed five minutes and he's done. Phoenix Cage. Look out, there's a dog collision in there. Come on. Ooh. This is just a cat. We're using it as an obstacle to do uh, some bite work training with this little guy. But it might not have a leg for a reason, it's broke. So that was a fucking lie. So you're gonna work closer to him here oh, okay. and try to get him to, to get on this as much as possible instead of around it. Gotcha. Good. Oh, goodness. Oh. My nigga. <laughs> cool. All right, time to get in and some grub. Oh, yes. Including Lynn. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know that's right. <laughs> Thanks for kicking with us. We hope you enjoyed the vlog. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Don't miss a single drop. Be sure to turn on post notifications. About to drive this guy off once I finish rinsing him down. We'll see you next time.